Hi guys, so I'm back and I'm gonna teach you how to make an edible arrangement. Um, it's super easy. I did this for Mother's Day, but you can do it for Father's Day or um, birthdays or get wells, whatever it is. It's awesome, it's pretty, and it's pretty easy. Um, so here we go, let's get started. So this is all that I'm gonna need for this edible arrangement. Skewers, I got two different sizes because I'm not sure which one um, is gonna be better for the vase here. I got tissue paper, which you can skip this step, but it's for decorative purpose purposes. Uh, some chocolate that I'm gonna melt. Some my vase here that I got the 99 cent store. Some floral support. Some floral foam. Also at the 99 cent store. Now your cookie cutters. Um, I'm not sure how well the rubber ones are gonna work, but um, I picked these ones up. These are like flowers, and I don't know if I'm gonna use this one, but if I do, I'll probably use the star and the heart shape one. And so now to your fruits. I picked up some grapes, uh, strawberries, and pineapple, but you can also add oranges, bananas, um, apples, whatever you'd like. So that's all. Okay, I've got my fruit cut up. I took the stems off and my grapes washed, so I got this washed. Now moving on to the um, pineapples. I've cut up my pineapple, maybe to about half an inch thick or so. And I'll, and I'll get a cookie cutter and push down on it like this to take its form. Just like that. I made this one into a star. I love stars. Okay, so I've got my shapes now. So uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and melt the chocolate. That way I can start dipping the fruit in. So now I am melting my chocolate. I'm doing 30 seconds at a time in the microwave, making sure I take it out and mix it around. That way it doesn't burn. So this still has quite a ways to go, so I'm going to pop it right back in. Okay, there's still a little few chunks in there, but the more I mix it around, the starting to melt. So now I'm doing the white chocolate. Okay, the white one's also done, and this only took about a minute and a half in the microwave. Of course, taking it out every 30 minutes to mix, you know, mix it up, stir it around, making sure doesn't burn okay so now what I'm doing is I got my little stick here with the strawberry at the end I'm just gonna dip it and roll it around until it's covered just like so coming off of my skewer here and then just make sure to let the excess drip off. And I've been sticking them in a tall cup that can support it and put them in the fridge so I can um, cool off and harden. So I've made my little flower here. I've put it on the stick. And I cut a um, grape in half to put it as the middle. But you can also use cantaloupe or, eight, or apples or whatever you want. Uh, or you don't have to put anything in the middle. You can just leave it like that. Now, I'm probably going to dip half of the pineapple into a chocolate also, but not all of them. Also, make sure yeah, that your fruit is dry. Otherwise, the chocolate is not going to stick. I'm finding that out now. So, <laughs> okay, so I only did two uh, pineapples and chocolate. And the rest, I left them like that because I felt like strawberries i did all the strawberries in chocolate so um as to not have too much chocolate i did most of the pineapple um like this so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut this here slice it down diagonal at the bottom that way it can fit because you know it's wide up here and then it's narrow down here so i'm just gonna cut it just a little bit so it can fit down here and also i'm gonna stick in a tissue paper um to cover this green thing in there so um i'll show you in a second so I've cut my little rectangle here, that way it can fit nice and easy right in there. 
And um, now what I'm going to do is actually cover this up with the tissue paper so it's not so ugly, you know. And this is how it looks. Isn't that pretty? Covers up that green there. And now I'm going to start sticking in the skewers. So what I did here is cover up the top because this foam lets out like little thingies and we don't want the fruit to get covered in them. And now we can roll them up in this. What I also did was put some grapes on the stick like this and then I'm going to stick them right in the vase. Now my son wants some chocolate. <laughs> Now since um, this is my biggest flower, I'm going to stick it right in the middle just like that and stick them out, you know, don't put them all in one area. Um, stick them out, put them out in different levels so they can look pretty. And here we go, look at how pretty that looks. So now what I'm doing is to cover up, you know, some of the skewers and that tin foil. It's just ripping up some tissue paper of that same color and just stuffing it in there. Put weaving in, weaving it through um, the skewers there, so it can look like that. You can also put lettuce, not the like the round lettuce, but you know that leafy long lettuce, right in there, and it'll look pretty nice too. And there you have it, guys. I just wanted to show you guys. This is another one that we're doing, and I did dry off the um, fruit this time, so it's, it was a lot easy easier um, to. Uh, cover them with chocolate because the chocolate wasn't going to slide off. And even this one, look how this one came out. I'm doing them half covered chocolate. And also here we did some slices of mangoes. But add um, apples, bananas, kiwis, whatever you like. Get creative with this. And I'll show you at the end how this one will look. All done. This one looks even better because we did them closer to the bottom so it looks fuller. And there you go. That's how you make it. It's, see, it's super easy. Um, the one number one tip I cannot stress enough is to dry your fruit. And your life will become so much easier that way. Um, the, and the, the chocolate will grasp on really well. So, you know, do it for Father's Day. Father's Day is coming up. So do it in the beer mug. You know, one of those big beer mugs. And, or for birthdays, like I said, it's up to you. Get creative with it. Add all different kinds of fruit. And I hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.